All right guys, how's it going? My name is Jason from So The Land. Here on our YouTube channel, we just kinda share our story, share our journey of moving out from the city into the mountains of North Carolina. Actually, driving 3,000 miles away. We just kinda share our journey, share our story of trying to grow our own food, trying to be a little bit more self-sufficient. And part of that journey is battling the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> in our garden. Right about now is where everything looks like the jungle. And the one thing that I took for granted or didn't realize there would be so much of it is grass and weeds. Because we came from Southern California in the desert. We didn't really have to worry too much about that I guess but So I took down some weeds that we had some overgrowth and guys it's the it's, it's getting close to the end of our growing season here um, to be honest our gardens not doing too hot right now we have some things growing but we got a lot of bug bug pressure this year the weeds we didn't stay on top of them we got a bunch of tomatoes still growing but you could tell they're dying off our zucchini plants they did okay. We've had better years with zucchini, but they're pretty much done. And this is that transition, right? That transition into fall time. And another thing that I've been putting off since we put the brothers in the freezer is that what am I gonna do with this shelter? We raised our two Berkshire pigs in here. Not full time, we kind of rotated them from out there to in here. But we added lots of wood chips here for them and it worked out really well. Over here is basically where they kind of hang, hung out. We had the water, their feed, uh, they would sleep kind of on this area and then on this back half is where they would poop. And this was filled up to, ended up filling up to like about there. All right, so what am I gonna do with all of this wood chips? I have, I have a few options here. One option is to bring our 30 meat chickens in and just let them go to town on this, let them till it up, and just basically have them live in here until we're ready to butcher them. What if we wanna get pigs sooner? Like, I don't have time to let some chickens dig this up. Thinking we might get two more pigs, at least. We wanna raise them in the winter time, and I wanna raise them in here. And if we're gonna get them in winter, that's pretty coming up soon and maybe in the next couple months or a few months, I, I don't know how soon, but I wanna at least have that option. And so if we're gonna have that option, I need to haul, off, haul out these wood chips and then bring in some fresh new wood chips in here. This right here is about one month worth of pig poop and wood chips all mixed in there and there's also uh, some feathers in here that we had from chicken processing day. There's some hay in here. I want to take this all out and this is what I've been putting off for a couple months now because I honestly I don't really want to do it. <laughs> I do not really want to haul wood chips. And so I've been debating. What am I going to do with, with all that? I could put them um, in pallets and I brought some pallets out here. Kind of contain it all by maybe put f three different bays and then shovel the poop in there or the wood chips or I could shovel it in the garden. If I put them in pallets, I guess it's to kind of contain it and turn it into compost. What if I just pile it up right here, bring in some chickens and put some fencing around it, around them, and then just let them go to town on this area since we are not planning in this area, probably not till next year. This is where our potatoes were. And going into winter and fall, our, our garden is pretty much half, cut in half. We don't garden this much space uh, like we did in the spring and summer months. From here, pretty much all the way to those tomatoes, let the chickens do their thing on here. And that would, I think, would improve the soil. By this time, or the, when we're ready to plant in the springtime next year, all that pig poop that we had going 
would hopefully have broken down and the chickens would have turned it over and maybe we can even throw our, our egg laying chickens over here at some point. We were gonna tarp this area anyways. So I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know, what, what do you guys think? You guys think that'd be a good idea? I might just try it because, you, you know, homesteading is a big, big experiment anyways. I might as well try it instead of just throwing a plastic tarp on this for, for the rest of the year. Plus I think it's more fun than just putting a tarp on. I don't see this happening in one day either. Shoveling all these wood chips, I think it's gonna happen a course of maybe a few weeks. This is about five pickup truckloads of wood chips. In case you're wondering, it does not smell. It smells like wood chips. And I think it's already started that process of composting. Let me know guys, down in the show notes, let me know if this is a good idea to you. Let me know, any other suggestions you guys have? You know, of course, I, I just, I wanna do this um, with minimal effort. I know there's gonna be some effort, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to do this as easiest as, as, I, as I can, but if we're gonna get pigs sooner rather than later, I need this stuff out. I think it'll be all right if I put the wood chips out in the garden and that's where it's going to end up anyways and then if you bring chickens in they can help us till it up and it'll break down even more. We're not going to plant in the area until next spring. Whatever it is I got to do I know I need to get these wood chips out of here. So there's a lot of work to do. Right. Loading up some more feed. I need to feed our, our chickens again. I've been feeding them double than what I would normally feed them. I'm feeding them in the morning and then in the afternoon or, or late evening. And then, I, and then I also move them. All right, let's check on these guys. What are you guys doing in here? I'm gonna move these guys again. Look at this little gap there. That's an uneven ground. The egg crew. What's up guys? <laughs> the egg laying crew. You guys doing good? All right, these guys are still hanging out. Almost time for bed for those guys. They'll put themselves to bed. They know the deal. Oh, breakfast. So yeah guys, I got a big busy day tomorrow. Probably shoveling some wood chips. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.